Just a few hours earlier, Jesus had been teaching in the temple courts and now he's been slain and his blood-soaked body is buried in the ground. The disciples are left without their leader. Have you ever thought about Good Friday from the perspective of the disciples of Jesus? Can you imagine the trauma of having to see your dear friend go through suffering like that? Think of it now. Imagine being one of them and seeing these events unfold. The betrayal of Jesus by another of your friends. He's turned traitor against you for the sake of some silver coins. Jesus arrested and questioned, beaten, flogged, being paraded on a public show trial and then nailed to a cross. Can you imagine watching from a distance and seeing the agony etched into his face? Imagine seeing the blood spilling from his body and pooling on the floor beneath him. Imagine hearing his mother wailing with grief until eventually his body hangs limp and lifeless on the cross. Imagine seeing the rulers sneering and laughing in their victory. Imagine seeing that spear being driven into his side. Imagine seeing him being wrapped up in grave clothes and taken to the tomb. For the disciples, the death of Jesus was not just the death of a friend, but the death of their faith in this movement and in this Messiah. All of their hopes and expectations are bound up with Jesus and buried in the grave. And if that were the end of the story, we wouldn't still be talking about him 2,000 years later.